Guten Tag, fellas. Welcome back to our City Subscriber Scramble. Before I begin, a big, fat, juicy, loving shout out to JMWE. Fuck you, Kermit. JMWE for life, dude. They make great content. Follow them on Twitter in the description below. Uh, follow their YouTube channel. They're great, awesome people. And here, this is up next match. It's going to be the Nick Club versus the Bullet Club. Representatives of the Bullet Club here today are the Cleaner Kenny Omega, the Villain Marty Scroll, and the Buzzkill Tamatanga. I know nothing about Tamatanga. I'm sorry. I just don't know anything about Tamatanga. I know I'm vaguely learning about Kenny Omega and the M Marty Scroll. Thanks to LWF. Tamatanga? No, nothing about him. Nothing. Not at all. Anything. Kenny Omega leading the Bullet Club. The Nick Club and the Bullet Club have been going at it over in LWF, and we're going to sell it here tonight. The representatives of Bullet Club chosen. I thought we we're going to be Kenny Omega and the Young Bucks. But apparently, it's going to be Kenny Omega, which was one right, Marty Scroll, and Tamatanga. If you remember, this all started when Ronnie Ann betrayed the Bullet Club and joined the Nick Club along with Lincoln and our LWF. And it was all just too and sweet. But who's going to be the representatives of the Nick Club, I wonder? I mean, all members of Nick Club basically were taken out by TJ Marconi. So it leads me to wonder just who on earth is going to represent the Nick Club here tonight. Here we go. Let's see who's going to represent where they are. Oh my! Fly McBride in a. Oh, oh, who's he? Oh, and those two mask guys too. Oh, they do have representatives. I guess Clyde McBride's part of the Nick Club. I mean, those two I can understand, but Clyde? I don't. I don't see it. I think something fishy's going on here with Clyde. Maybe he got pressured into doing. I don't know, but. Those two goons right there, definitely. Also in this part, I will be facing Donald Trump, finally. We'll have a guest commentator for that, so don't worry. And I guess these three are going to represent Nick Club here tonight. There's the bell, folks. And Clyde McBride instantly tags out. What a pussy. You know, Mega shooting the gun at Black Mask, as I've come to call him. Ooh, it a double chop there by Omega. Um. Not up here. I don't know if you're one for a kick there, but no, Omega elbow there, right to the leg. Not up here, and K Omega. I oh, one for something there, but did not get it. Omega gets rolled over by Black Mask, and Black Mask. Oh no, no, Omega countering out. Marty Scroll and Tamatanga entering the ring. And, oh, illegal shots there to Black Mask, but Black Mask now. Beating up Marty Scroll. Oh, hold up here. Nice. Hits his takedown there by Kenny Omega of the Bullet Club. Leader of the Bullet Club, I'd assume. Considering Edge of Styles and oh, Adam Cole got kicked out on LWF. And were replaced by Ronnie Ann and Lynn, Lynn Loud, who. Silently, who Ronnie Ann basically betrayed the group and joined her boyfriend Lincoln in the Nick Club officially in LWF. And Lynn left silently when Hanazuki showed up. By the way, in the description below should should be a link and reply with a cheap shot. There could be a link to the newest episode of El newest part of Thrilla in Manila. If you don't check that out, you are a chump, chump, chump. I'm kidding. I love you all, but really, you should check it out. Double chop there, miss, kick to the gut by Black Mask. Black Mask rubs him himself up. Uppercut there by Black Mask. Who's reading LWF? You really should read the LWF if you haven't already. It's a great fanfic. By the lovely, beautiful, handsome, sexy, and other words to describe him, Chard. Mel Chard Caranto, the current CWA Global Champion. The inaugural CWA Global Champion. Off the ropes, sends Omega. And look at this, the most overused tag team move in Paw Wrestling Entertainment. The drop to hold elbow drop, which was why none of the calls that I have edited the move sets for has that. Now, if the moves are wrong for some of the members of Bullet Club, I'm sorry. 
I didn't. I don't know any of their moves except for Kenny Omega, who does the V trigger and the he does the Hadouken, the V trigger and the um, One Wing Angel. I don't know anything about Tama Tonga or Marty Scroll. I'm learning vaguely about. I'm learning about Marty Scroll though, thanks to my buddy Melchard. Thanks, 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 Chardley. I want. I really do like. I actually kind of do like Marty Scroll. Hold up here. What's this? Ooh, what an arm breaker there by Orange Mask. I don't know what he was doing there. Off the ropes here. Nice leg drop by Orange Mask to Tama Tonga. The buzz kill. Back chop there to Tama Tonga. He looks like Roman Reigns, okay? I'm gonna say it. He looks like Roman Reigns. Um, if anyone knows anything about Tama Tonga and Marty Scroll, I'd love to hear your information. Oh! And a knee there. Similar to what Kenny Omega would hit when he hits the V-Trigger. I will drop there, but it's kind of messed up. By Orange Mask. And Orange Mask now picking up. Uh, Tama Tonga killed him some chops and blows and went for another chop there. Tama Tonga, oh no, counter again. Orange Mask, and Orange Mask sends him into the corner. Now, what, hold up here, what's Orange Mask setting up for here? Off the ropes he goes. Oh, discus five arm. Discus five arm there. And putting up the two in sweets. That's the patented Nick Club insignia. The two in sweets. Off the ropes since Tamatanga. Orange Mask now. Spine Buster by Tamatanga. Of the Bullet Club. Who I assume is the muscle. He looks kind of Samoan in a way. I don't know why. It's probably the skin. It looks kind of like... It reminds me of Roman Reigns. And Kenny Omega comes back into the ring. Hardy Scroll has yet to be in this match. As kind of the same with Clyde McBride. He's been in, but he hasn't been active. He just tied out the instant he got in. Kenny Omega, the cleaner. The man who personally has a rivalry with Lincoln Loud is not only, like, way before LWF, these two have had beef. All uh, like, in JMWE, LWF, Kenny Omega called him out saying, hey, I'm the real cleaner here. Lincoln's the phenomenal cleaner. One thing about Chard is, like, funny thing about me and Chard is, you know, we think a lot, a lot, a lot alike for booking. But, um, oh, nice back kick there by Scroll, the villain. But he sees Lincoln more as a Christian Cage. Well, I have said on many occasions, I see him as either The Miz or Kenny Omega, as a as a heel. I, I, Christian Cage does fit the I, criteria for Link. But uh, I, I like him, the unique look I give him with Kenny Omega's stuff. Which might change next 2K18. And yes, Lincoln is confirmed for 2K18, so all you Nick Club haters can deal with it. Snapmare there by Orange Mask and Black Mask. Double knees to the face there of Marty Scroll. Scroll is getting a, the hell kicked out of him right here by the Nick Club. Dream match in the making here tonight. However, I think the match people were looking for kind of was Omega, the Young Bucks, versus Lincoln and Tottenham and Patrick. But, you know, Marty, we got one, we got a little bit of that. We got, we got one, one sixth of that. Kenny Omega. Maybe one day we'll see Nick Club versus Bullet Club. The one, we'll see. Omega and the Bucks versus Spongebob, Patrick, and Link. Lincoln. Oh, wait a minute. I hope we'll climb it right into the ring. Finally, we're going to see Clyde in action. Tama Tonga now tagged back in. But, oh, pardon me. For a low drop kick. Oh, shit. Clyde McBride, you are fucked. Oh, look, look at Clyde. Clyde is begging for mercy. He's telling him, don't hurt me, please. He's be, he be gentle. Oh, wait, no. Fireman's carry. What, wait, hold up. What's Clyde? Oh, he tags back into Orange Mask. Clyde! More wants to see Clyde's ass get kicked for the whole Marconi thing. Perhaps that will change. Speaking of Marconi, it's apparent, folks. The rules are rules. Marconi, Gonzo. He's not in RCCW. He'll never be in RCCW. He's Dunzo. So we can stop the whole storyline thing now. They're not enemies anymore. Lincoln expelled him. Oh, kick right there. Tama Tonga and Saguri there. Uh, only one person who I've, I I recently talked to on Skype. At the time of recording, I just got off the Skype call with him. Um, somebody. Uh, somebody who wants to do something like that. I put trust in his hands to do it. And orange mask here. Ooh, an STO there. Into the, bar into the corner. But yes, um... I mentioned you. You know who you are. You know exactly who you are. I just got off the Skype call with you. 
and I will literally message you after the recording that I'll give you permission to do that. I won't tell you who, because, you know, surprise, surprise, you know. Tomaton gets nailed with an uppercut there by Black Mask. Oh, wait a minute, hold up here. Going for that Kodo driver, the Vertebreaker. Vertebreaker to Tomatonga. Oh, a little miscommunication there by Orange Mask. Damn these, damn that AI. No, Tomatonga kicks out of the Vertebreaker there. I just want to sell the Vertebreaker, Tomatonga. Tomatonga getting fisted right in the face by Black Mask. Slammed, his head slammed up against the mat. Punch, no. Kick right to the gut. Oh, punch, hold up here. Tomatonga, what's he going for here? Oh, a crossroads there by Tomatonga. Didn't expect him to hit his crossroads, man. Did not see that coming. Out there by Tonga. Already scroll now back into the ring. The villain now back in the ring. And ooh, nice move there. And an, ooh, and an Insiguri there. A CCS Insiguri there by Marty Scroll. Shade of Samoa Joe. Oh, counter there by Orange Mask. Very nice counter. And oh, sorry, Black Mask. I meant Black Mask. <laughs> in the ring comes Orange Mask. Hold up here, what's this? Ooh, shot to the arm of Marty Scroll. And Orange Mask going instantly for that suplex pile driver on Marty Scroll. But Marty Scroll fights out of it, fighting out of it here. Oh, wait a minute, hold up here, Marty Scroll. Oh, he's got him in a sleeper hold. Marty Scroll's got to lock in a sleeper hold. I don't know what to call that. I don't know what that's called if he even does it. But he's locking it in. And no, Clyde McBride breaks it up. Clyde breaking that up. Oh, hold up here, what the? In the blue hell? Oh my god! Black Mask digging his nails into the ribs and the lungs of Marty Stroll. Who's the real villain now? Amen. Speaking of uh, my replacement commentator, he'll be here shortly. Clyde McBride in the ring? Is he Clyde? Oh no, Clyde is now legal. And oh, nice forearm there by Kenny, by uh, Marty Stroll. Marty Stroll going ballistic on Clyde. Drop kick there to Clyde McBride. Clyde getting up out of the dropkick. Nice insecurity by Marty Scroll. Marty Scroll here. What's he look to go? Ooh, shot right to the back of the cranium there by Scroll. Marty Scroll now tags in the cleaner Kenny Omega. And um, Marty Scroll now setting up Clyde. Up goes Clyde. But he slides off and Omega. Trying to, oh, yep, yep, punching up on Clyde McBride here. Setting him up on the ropes. Oh, and a little bump there. Bye. And outside the ring goes Clyde McBride. Oh, and the gun has been fired by Omega. And takes out Orange Mask. Orange Mask taken out there by Omega. Omega goes for the axe handle. Does not connect with it, but he, cl he grabs Clyde McBride. Grabbed Clyde McBride. And throws it. Oh no, I'm sorry. That's Orange Mask. He grabbed Orange Mask. My apologies. He grabbed, I'm sorry. He grabbed Orange Mask. Look at this Marty Scroll getting involved now. Count of five here. Already. Omega now. Oh, Omega into the. Oh, and a calf kick there by Orange Mask. Hyde McBride on the apron. Get back in the ring, you idiots. Oh no, he's going after Marty Scroll. Why would you go after Marty Scroll? What the hell, dude? Oh, and now Tomatonga sees the chaos. And Tomatonga's going back, going to get involved in the action. Bulldog there. Oh, it's, it's diverted into chaos. We have diverted into chaos, ladies and gentlemen. And there you have it. Double count out. What in the blue hell? We didn't even get a proper. Oh, wait a minute here. Hold up. Black Mask going after Tomatonga. Tomatonga getting punched right in the face by Black Mask. Oh, but Tomatonga fighting back here. It's an all-out brawl, ladies and gentlemen. These two are brought up the stage. Tomatonga and Black Mask. Oh, hold up here. Switch to the camera. Switch to the camera. Marty Scroll and Orange Mask now. Marty Scroll and Orange Mask fighting into the crowd here in St. Louis, Missouri. 
The St. Louis crowd is going ballistic for this action. The Nick Club, the Bullet Club, have erupted into a battle, into a war. And oh, wait a minute. Oh, Clyde. Clyde's begging for mercy, folks. More you might get your wish, Omega. Cox the gun. B trigger. B trigger by Omega, and the two sweets go up. Oh, and Omega is gonna pop off another one. V trigger. Another V trigger. And Kenny Omega, oh, more. You're getting your wish here today, buddy. You are getting your wish. I find it funny how both Omega and Lincoln both hit the jumping knees as finishers. Lincoln's more of a diving knee from the middle rope, and Omega's more of a jumping or running one. And oh, now he's got a steel chair. Now he's going to wallop Clyde McBride. Oh, my God. Clyde is not in a good way. Excuse me. Oh, and oh, no. He's going to set up. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Like it loud! It's like it loud! And, oh, wait a minute! He corners now! Oh, of course! Of course! Oh my god! Why may Pride run out of the ring? Pete Corvus just popped into the ring now. Pete Corvus and Lincoln, good buddies now. Pete Corvus, now I guess, jumped Omega from behind and allowed. And allowed Clyde McBride to escape. Oh no. Oh! 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 Gee, many Christmas, folks. And. Ay, ay, ay. And. Bro, here comes my replacement, I think. <laughs> Alright. You're kidding me, right? How unoriginal is this? Oh, what's going on, everybody? It's the King Elvis Presley. <laughs> this is a CCW joke. Why are we seeing a CCW joke? Oh, because Michael, you couldn't get Michael Jackson. Oh. Yeah, he's in vacation, but uh, just stay quiet until I go to my match. P. Corvus now. He's beating up on Kenny Omega. Oh, my God, the cleaner is getting cleaned here by the, the leader of the Corvus crew. The sole proprietor of the Corv of the Pete Corvus show. Kick to the gut. Oh dear. Shut up, Elvis. Shut up. I wanna pack his power driver out of the chair there by Corvus. Oh, and Corvus leaving Omega in a heap. Leaving Kenny Omega in a heap. And now he's running off. He's running off. And now it's easy pickings. For the cleaner of the Nick Club, for the phenomenal cleaner. Oh man, a dream match right here in the making, folks. But it's not even a match, ladies and gentlemen. It's a slow down. Wait, hold up here. Wait, fuck you, Merc. Two twisted. Did he just? Oh my god, that's a the twisted reaction. This two twisted Merc's move. We all know two twisted Merc and Lincoln Loud have some beef. Not only in MVR, but in the WWE. I guess that's a nice middle finger to Two Twisted Merc. Oh dear. Oh, he's going for that. He's going for that Krakatoa eruption. Oh, and the invasion stands tall again. God dang it. Oh, this just ain't good. Well, anyway, I gotta go to my match. Uh, Elvis, you ready? Oh, oh, yeah, I am. All right, we'll take over. I'm here. I go. All right, Elvis, what it? It's Elvis Presley here to give you a show. Uh, you know, I might be at a uh, CCW, uh, CCW, uh, uh, Summer Jam, but you know, Elvis Presley. Oh, good old Elvis Presley. You know, he can be in two places at once, eating his peanut butter banana sandwiches, and there comes that. Rick C. fella, out of the ring for his match with Donald Trump and Vince McMahon. A match requested by a subscriber. And here comes Rick C. and his cowboy hats. Oh boy. 
And this is gonna be a heck of a match to see. <laughs> oh, well, what's this? Hey, it's Michael Jackson. Oh, and Elvis Presley, you can beat it. Now, you just hold on a second. Oh, Rick C asked me to commentate. No, he originally wanted the King of Pop with a shiny glove to commentate over this match. You sound like Mickey Mouse. You sound like Johnny Bravo. Well, I guess we can share the commentary booth. Eh, whatever, fine. But anyway, here's Rixie. <laughs> it's Rixie. The owner, founder, and creator of RCCW. Here comes Donald Trump and Vince Big Man Nickens. <laughs> Beat it! In the dump and sweaty, bro. What are you two doing here? Oh my god. Oh, we are on here. Oh, who are you? That, you don't need to know who I am. I'm just somebody. Get out of here. Get out of here. Oh, you'll regret the day you did this to me, Elvis Presley. And me, Michael Jackson. Shut up. Oh, hello, everyone. Sorry, they, uh, you'll meet me in the due time. I'm somebody, um... Well, um, I'll, uh, reveal myself at a later date. Uh, but up next we got Rick C. Versus Donald Trump and Vince McMahon. Requested by Mr. Worldwide, I believe. And Donald Trump's got a mic. My, My name, name is, is John Donald Trump. Trump. And we are, are gonna, gonna make, make America, America great, great again. again along with RCCW. It's always been great. Which is why I changed this match to a, to a six-man six tag match. What? Is, is our, our number one supporter, supporter the, greatest the greatest Buffett in the world, and the man, or some, something, <laughs> that, that reveals reveal the truth about JMWE being part of ISIS, ISIS. please, please welcome, welcome Kermit, Kermit the, the Frog. Frog. What? <laughs> Kermit the Frog. And look at this. Wearing a JMWE equals ISIS shirt and make America great again hat. Really? Oh, Rick C is outnumbered here. Now, like I said, you'll, you'll know who I am in due time. I sound a lot like Rick C, I know. You'll, you'll know why in just a bit. CWA, I think I'll reveal myself. But I had to kick Elvis and Michael Jackson out of here. I'm actually the replacement for Rick C. Um, yeah, Kermit the Frog. Really, everyone hates this guy. He turned heel on everybody. He betrayed everybody. We thought he was the greatest Muppet, but now he's an asshole. And Rick C grabbing a mic. He's got a hold of a mic. But look at that shirt. JMW equals ISIS. No, it doesn't. JM JMW is an awesome company, I'll have you know. But Rick C is going to grab a mic. He's got to say something to say and retort to Donald Trump. But honestly, fuck this for I hope he gets wrecked. Let's see. Wow, a racist frog. Okay. Do you think you've got to jump on me? Well, well, don't worry, because I knew you'd pull a trick like this. Which is why I have, so to speak, a Trump card. Two presidents. What? That have been raised from the dead. And what? certainly are better than you in every single way. Ladies and gentlemen, on, get on your feet for these two gentlemen. Wait, say what? Raised from the dead? What is Rixie going at here? <coughs> what? George Washington and Abraham Lincoln? It's George Washington and Abraham Lincoln. Well, they are two th the best presidents. They are, well, they are the best pre Look at this music. Truly patriotic. This is a song that Team International needs to hear. Oh my god, dream match material, but... Wait, hold up. Are these a couple of cosplayers, or are they just... Are they a real... I think these two are just a couple of cosplayers. That's probably, like, 
It's probably Melchard and Prudencio Gomez role playing as Abe Lincoln and George Washington. Who knows? No, no, slavery. No, we do not agree with slavery here in RCCW, even though I'm technically not hired. I'm just here for one night. Washington and Lincoln are hyped to be in RCCW, I guess. Let's see what we got coming up next. We got Kermit the Frog on one end and Rixie on the other. And the bell has been rung. Kermit the Frog. Oh! Kermit just ran at Rixie, but Rixie gave him a tomahawk chop. And he tagged in Abe Lincoln. Here comes honest, old, old, honest Abe. Oh, wait, hold up. Oh, and Donald Trump gets rocked. And so does Vince McMahon. Kermit the Frog is standing there. Oh, wait, hold up here. Excuse me. Timber! Oh, my gosh. Kermit the Frog got wrecked. Oh, but a rope break saves that dumb green fuck. Oh, and look at this. Abe Lincoln has got Kermit in a camel clutch. Shades of every foreign heel from Rusev to General Hall to... Um, a, 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 something of that one guy, Mas, Hamasan, whatever his name is. Ooh, and a, face, and a fist drop to Donald Trump. And Trump now, and his ass handed to him. Oh no, Jawjacker there by Trump. And Trump runs into the corner and tags in Mr. Man. Now, if you don't know how hard this robbery came to be, requested by a subscriber, but Donald Trump is guilty of violating Rick C over and over again. On Lucas Hagas streams, he has grabbed Rick C by the delicate vag lips multiple times. And it's truly disgusting that this individual grabbed Rick C by his genitalia. It is truly repulsive, and I hope he gets his just desserts here tonight. We must help Kermit the Frog get his just desserts, and all of this, a presidential gree. The presidential gree by George Washington. One, two, three, and Vince McMahon's out. <laughs> this, is a, this is a squash match, and a bit of a bow there. Oh, and Donald Trump begging for mercy here. But there's no mercy for shit presidents like Donald Trump. I hope you enjoyed this PGV. You don't know who I am, but you know who I will. You know that guy in the ring, though. They're kind of the same, in a way. You'll, you'll see. And Rick C now hyping these fans up for something. What's he going for here? What's he got planned? Uh, flexing your muscles. You don't have any muscles. Donald Trump talking trash to Rick C. Oh, wait a minute! He grabbed him by the junk! Payback! Rick C with a measure of payback to Donald Trump. He just, he grabbed him by the pussy! He just grabbed Donald Trump by the pussy! And B Trump begging for mercy, but oh no, he's not gonna get it. He calls, he's doing this, he calls this move the C section! C-section by Rick C, and there you have it. Rick C and the two presidential cosplayers win the match for America. Fuck yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed that little match there. I'm sure you all love seeing Kermit the Frog, Vince McMahon, and Donald Trump all get squashed by two of the best presidents and one of the best guys on the channel. Way to go, team.